Hello and welcome. My name is Azadeh Emadi. I am the program convener for MS in Filmmaking and Media Arts here at the University of Glasgow. It is a pleasure to be able to introduce you to our program today. In this presentation, I'm going to take you through some key points about our program, as well as uh, program structure and um, core courses you will be undertaking if you decide to join our program. So filmmaking and media art focuses on low budget experimental filmmaking, artist moving image and media art. It is designed to provide the necessary practical and critical skills required for current and future screen based production. I'm going to emphasize on experimental filmmaking and artist moving image aspect of the program. These are what um, distinguishes our program from many other programs. The aim is to um, facilitate an environment for students where they have enough freedom to explore and experiment with their own creativity while pursuing uh, a more practice-based uh, approach and practice-based research approach to their study. So this program is for experimental filmmakers, media producers, artists, those involved in theory and practice of moving image arts. Um, our graduates um, usually join many different um, areas when, when they finish their study. Some um, continue their study into the practice-based PhD. Um, some decide to uh, join um, an education and start teaching. Um, we had the students who um, began working in theaters, media production companies, um, digital uh, content producers, film editors. So it's quite diverse. Um, the career prospect is quite diverse for our um, students. And some of them also develop their own business and um, particularly when they focus on low budget production um, and experiment and, uh, and experimentation, they actually become um, producers and uh, develop their own production companies. So there are a number of core courses uh, you will have to undertake if you decide to join us. Practical Workshop 1, 40 credits. Practical Workshop 2, also 40 credits. Experimental Arts and Media Theory, 20 credits. And a practice-based dissertation, which is 60 credits, is the largest, um, basically, course you will undertake. In addition to these, core courses, uh, you will have to undertake one optional course for 20 credits. As students choose one course selected from a range of academic options that draw on the research expertise of the subject team. Here are some examples. For example, advanced topic in films, advanced topics in TV, making time, festivals, field recording, sound shaping and design. These are some examples of um, available options, although it depends at the time, some may not be available, but these are just examples for you to have an idea. So as you know, um, you have the first semester starting in September, the second semester starts in January, and then you have summer. Practical workshop one, um, takes place in semester one. It focuses on critical practice while providing support for production of your video or media art project. It, it incorporates sessions led by artists and scholars, which are designed to pass on key skills vital to the moving image and media art field. The first semester is very much um, a time where you are allowed to explore and experiment as much as you want. With your medium, with different narratives, you get the chance to develop a script if you decide to um, make a film that's narrative based. Um, at the same time, you work on theories and key concepts that will help you develop um, your film concept, your film voice, and aesthetic style for your final film. Um, at the end of the first semester for this course, you are, um, you're supposed to pitch your film idea. You will present a portfolio of creative works um, and a project proposal. All of these are in preparation for your final film, which will happen in 
uh, summertime. The second semester, you will undertake practical workshop two. Um, this course develops your technical skills for your proposed final project. As I mentioned earlier on in the first semester, you work on developing your creative works, your ideas for final film, and at the end, you um, have your proposal and you pitch uh, or present your film ideas. Um, so this semester in practical workshop two, you are going to develop your ideas further and um, really start making a section or a teaser of your final film as a way of testing out your film and your ideas. So this workshop provides students with the opportunity to critically reflect on their practice and to take a project from an initial concept to realization of a video teaser. So critical reflection on your practice is something that we will encourage a lot in this course. You will be working on your own field independently. You will not be working with um, other students as a team. And for that reason, it's even more important to critically engage with your own making and um, basically find um, solutions and necessary skills to tackle um, any, any area that uh, your film needs improvement. And of course, we are there to help you. You develop a detailed project plan for your final film and media art. So at the end of that semester, you will have a teaser, you test out um, a part of your final film, and you will have a very detailed plan on how you're going to produce your final film. This is all in preparation for your um, last term, summer term, when you're going to make your film. Experimental art and media, this course covers the history and theory of experimental art, including the topics of practice as research. It is designed to provide a critical foundation for the filmmaking and media arts practice. This course, as you can see, is very much theory based and um, it's designed to give you necessary theoretical context you will need for your final project and also for writing your dissertation. Practice based dissertation, this will happen during summertime. Um, you apply practical, theoretical, and critical thinking skills learned in the core courses to complete a low budget field or media art project. These practical components uh, will be submitted alongside a written exegesis, which is a short, um, a short text of 3000 words. It is to contextualize your uh, practice, but also theoretically and conceptually engaged with your making process. Um, during summer, you will work independently on your project, but under the supervision of um, an academic um, supervisor. Um, so this is basically an overall view of um, the program. Um, I also need to mention that for both practical workshop one and practical workshop two, in addition to one or two academic um, contact that you have for these courses, you will also have um, basically workshops delivered and workshops and lectures delivered by um, experts in the field or other academics and artists. Um, these are usually tailored um, to a student's needs. Um, and it's, as I said, it's for both practical workshop as well as practical, um, practical workshop one and practical workshop two. Here are some of the um, testimonies by previous students, which I think is important to highlight some key points. Um, Alison says the MSc Filmmaking and Media Arts program is a great way to get a taste of low budget experimental filmmaking. The course focuses heavily on the practical aspects of filmmaking, 
while offering a variety of additional courses that complement the core options. In this course, you will learn how to create your own film or media art piece, taking it from pitch to the final screening of your work. The course benefits from a mix of lectures, workshops, and guest lectures. Um, I'm going to provide you with links to these testimonies so you will have uh, an opportunity to take your time, um, look at these, or read through them, and also look at their works as well. Um, Emily, who, all, uh, who I must say, um, recently here, her work um, won an award for um, a screen, learning on a screen award for um, her animation. Um, so this is a this is brilliant thing. One thing we do in our program is we always, from the very beginning, we encourage a student to think about what they want to achieve um, in their field and also afterwards. The aim is to produce high quality works that are ready for public exhibitions um, or film screening and film festivals. So, and as I said, because of the experimental aspect of our program, students produce different, different type of works, exhibition-based works, video installation, as well as films for film festivals. <laughs> She says, if you're looking for a strictly technical, narrowly focused film program, the MSc Filmmaking and Media Arts might not be the best choice for you. But if you are interested in developing an independent practice located at the, at the intersection of creative filmmaking and academic study, this is the right course. Again, I'm going to... Um, let you read the rest of um, her testimony. And I also provide you with links to look at some um, teasers of their works. Max talks about her, his experience in this way. Uh, my experience was one of experimentation, re-evaluation and discovery. I was encouraged to keep an open mind to experiment and to remain open to alternative viewpoints, all while staying true to the essence of a project. The open and self-directed nature of the course I found to be a uniquely challenging yet, yet rewarding experience. So I hope um, with these kind of like testimonies and also giving you an overall view of the um, program a structure and what you may expect you um, yeah, I hope I could give you a better idea of um, the program. Um, hopefully, I have answered some of your questions. Um, I look forward to hopefully meeting some of you next year. All the best. And thanks for your time.